Whether they made you scoff or tear up, these nuptials definitely left a lasting impression. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best reality TV weddings. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable and over-the-top weddings to take place between reality TV stars. We'll be considering couples even if they aren't still together. Number 10. Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney, Vanderpump Rules I, Katie, take thee, Tom, to be my husband, to be my husband. Vanderpump Rules is known for its drama, but every once in a while, fans get to see a happily ever after. Tom and Katie's love story wasn't without its bumps in the road, but it all came together when they were married in 2016. In the last episode of the fifth season of the show, before the reunion kicked off, these two tied the knot in front of their nearest and dearest, and a camera crew, of course. Their officiant was none other than Lisa Vanderpump herself, who brought exactly the right amount of gravitas to the situation. We wouldn't have had it any other way. Right now, yeah. Yeah. Number 9. Nene and Greg Leakes, The Real Housewives of Atlanta I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. We came to love Nene Leakes on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and in 2013, she got her very own spin-off series in the lead-up to her wedding to now hubby, for a second time, Greg Leakes. I grant Nene and Greg a divorce. On the original series, we saw the couple's marriage fall apart before they were divorced in 2011. But then they came back together to give it another shot, and this was the result. Their second wedding took place in Atlanta's Intercontinental Buckhead Hotel, and in I Dream of Nene, The Wedding, you get to bear witness to the entire planning process and the wedding itself. Oh my god, I am married. <laughs> Number 8. Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson Newlyweds, Nick and Jessica if you were a teen in the early aughts, you most definitely followed along on the adventure when pop stars Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson tied the knot. The wedding was pretty extra, especially for the time, with Lachey actually singing to Simpson at the altar. Then again, what else would you expect? Their relationship became even more famous when they became the stars of Newlyweds. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? But this isn't the only televised wedding Nick Lachey has had. Years after he and Jessica split, his nuptials to Vanessa Manillo were also aired in the TV special, Nick and Vanessa's Dream Wedding. Sir, you may kiss your wife on this. <laughs> Number 7. Rob Mariano and Amber Burkich, Survivor Thank you for making my fairy tale wedding come true. And by that I mean thank you for giving me you. Love you. Rob Mariano, also known as Boston Rob, was something of a survivor heartthrob, but in 2003, he went off the market when he started dating another contestant on Survivor All-Stars, Amber. By the time the show's live finale aired, he was ready to pop the question, and of course she said yes. Will you marry me? <laughs> CBS knows when something good has fallen into its lap and was sure to get in on the action. In 2005, CBS aired Rob and Amber Get Married, a special that followed the couple in their planning process and culminated in their Atlantis Paradise Island wedding. It is my honor and sweet delight to pronounce as and to present for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Mariano. <laughs> Number 6. Molly Mullaney and Jason Mesnick, The Bachelor Jason, do you agree to take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. They always say that it's the most dramatic Bachelor finale you've ever seen, but honestly, this time it was true. In 2009, on season 13 of The Bachelor, Jason Mesnick picked Melissa Rycroft as the winner and proposed to her. On the Live After the Rose special, which aired afterwards, however, he said he'd made a mistake and decided to choose runner-up Molly Mullaney. The following year, the two were married in a special aired by ABC, and Bachelor Nation was watching, wrapped with attention. Clearly, his gut feeling was right, because these two are still together. And then I saw, and we had a beautiful girl. And that's when I started crying. <laughs> yeah, that's when she started crying. <laughs> Number 5. Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom – Keeping Up with the Kardashians By now, we've seen a lot of Kardashian weddings, but back in 2009, it was all fresh and new when Khloe announced in an episode of the show that she was dating basketball player Lamar Odom. The two had a whirlwind engagement that only lasted until the end of the episode, when they tied the knot. Khloe and Lamar were married just a month after meeting, so it's probably no surprise that this union didn't last. 
Their wedding was pretty epic though, and considering how little time they had to plan it, we're in awe at just what money can do. From this day forward, you are husband and wife. Number four, Bethany Frankel and Jason Hobby, the real housewives of New York City. I'm the happiest girl in the entire world. I love you. I love you too. If you're a Real Housewives fan, you definitely have an opinion on one of its New York stars, Bethany Frankel. Love her or hate her, you can't deny that you were glued to your screen when Bethany Ever After was on the air, originally titled Bethany Getting Married. We got to see the entire planning process unfold in this Real Housewives of New York spinoff series, and the fact that she was pregnant throughout made it all the more exciting. Less than three years later, Frankel and Hoppy were separated, but that doesn't take away from how much we enjoyed their wedding. It is my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Number three, Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt, The Hills. By the fifth season of The Hills, we were fully in it for Heidi and Spencer's roller coaster of a relationship. It was Lauren Conrad's last season on the show, and the big drama was whether she would attend Spidey's wedding ceremony after the multi-season estrangement. The couple, of course, planned a totally lavish affair, and while most viewers were focused on the Lauren issue, there are a lot of other factors that made this a great episode of television that we definitely won't soon forget. Of course, Kristen had to catch the bouquet. Number two, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Keeping up with the Kardashians. I finally feel like, you know, I'm marrying my best friend. What was undoubtedly one of the greatest reality TV weddings of all time was one that we didn't actually get to see. When Kim Kardashian wed Chris Humphreys, it was all documented in an episode of the show, as was her famed quickie divorce. But a few years later, when it came time to tie the knot with her partner Kanye West, she opted to not have any e cameras at the ceremony. We had to watch the whole thing unfold on social media instead, as they partied at the Palace of Versailles the night before and ultimately said their I do's in Italy with a star-studded guest list in tow. Hopefully one day they'll leak their private video footage. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. In doing this, I take you as my husband. In doing this, I'll take this, <laughs> what? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Croy, you may kiss your beautiful bride. So to prove from the start, it was death to his heart. They swallowed their rings and expired. Number one, Trista Wren and Ryan Sutter, The Bachelorette. For our number one entry, we're taking it way back to when reality TV was a new and exciting thing in our lives. At the end of the very first season of The Bachelorette, Trista Wren chose contestant Ryan Sutter, and he proposed to her on the spot. The two were married as part of a miniseries commissioned by ABC called Trista and Ryan's Wedding, which had over 26 million viewers, making it one of the most viewed reality TV episodes of all time. All these years later, and Trista and Ryan are still touted as one of the biggest Bachelor Nation success stories. 100%. <laughs> I love it. 13 years later. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.